Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Search in Rotated Sorted Array. It's a medium and we're going to jump right into it. There is an integer array nums sorted in ascending order with distinct values. Prior to being passed to your function, nums is possibly rotated at an unknown pivot index k. k lies from 1 to length of nums, such that the resulting array is nums of k all the way to nums of k minus 1, 0 indexed. For example, if we're given 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, which might be rotated at pivot index 3 to become 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2. Given the array nums after the possible rotation and an integer target, return the index of target. If it is in nums or negative 1, if it is not in nums, you must write an algorithm with O of log n runtime complexity. So we are given an input sorted array that's been rotated, and we want to look for target in the log of n runtime complexity. Example one, we have the same array over here, four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two. And we want to look for zero, which we find at index four. So that is what we output. And example two, we have the same array. We want to look for three, which we don't find. So we output negative one. And example three, again, we don't find our target in our input nums. So we output negative one. Okay, so all the values of nums are unique. And nums is an ascending array that is possibly rotated. We're given a rotated sorted array, and we want to look for target with log of n runtime complexity. If this was just a plain sorted array, we could search for anything with log of n runtime complexity using binary search. But we still want to do this in log of n runtime complexity, which means we're still going to be using binary search. Now with a rotated sorted array, the rotated array still retains some of its properties from the initial sort. So we're going to use that to our advantage to still do a binary search. Okay, say I had the following example, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, and this is just from example 1 over here. And say the target I was searching for was 3. So target equals 3. Now if this was a regular binary search, what we would do is we'd split our input right down the middle and check the middle and end bounds. So I would check my bounds and see if target would potentially lie in any bound and continue my search in that half. So here, if I were to do the same, my middle is 7 over here. So my bounds are 4, 7 and 7, 2. Now with this 7, 2, I don't really get much information, right? I have no idea what numbers could potentially be in here. This could also have an 8, a 9 and so forth. I don't really know anything about the numbers here. But with 4 and 7, this is fully sorted, right? This is in perfectly increasing order. So I know whatever numbers are in this half have to lie between four and seven. So what I can do is check if my target is within these bounds. And if I don't see it, then I can continue my search in the other half. And this is always going to work because the only time we're not increasing is when we restart. So we're always going to be increasing one half would always show the correct increasing bounds. The only time we don't do that is when we have that K pivot that we've rotated on. Otherwise, we are good to go. So what we're going to do is basically just check which half is sorted. And within the sorted half, just check for our target. If target is within these bounds, we continue our search in that half. If not, we would go in the other half. So to write this up, the first thing I'm going to do is initialize my beginning and end bounds. So beginning and end is going to start off at zero and length of nums minus one. So I have my end over here and beginning over here. Now I want to keep searching up until beginning and end converge at the same index. So while beginning less than end, we can keep searching. Now I want to find what my midpoint is. So middle is going to equal beginning plus end you're dividing that by two and if my target is at this middle i can just return right away so if nums of middle equals target i will return the index that i am on so that is middle over here now i want to check the bounds i want to see which half is sorted so if our nums of beginning is less than equal to our nums of middle so in this case over here, right, beginning is less than equal to 7. That means this half is sorted. So now I want to check if target would lie within these bounds. So if nums of beginning is less than equal to target, which is less than equal to nums of mid, that means target lies within these bounds. And I want to only search in this half. 
So I'm going to be moving end down here, like so. So what I'm going to be doing is end is going to equal middle minus one. If we were on middle, we would just return. So we can actually just search from before middle. If that is not true, so say our target doesn't line this half, say what the number we're looking for was eight and right now our half is four and seven, that means we want to search somewhere in here. So I'm going to do beginning is going to equal middle plus one because now we're going to be moving beginning up here and is going to be over here. And this is the new half that we're going to be searching for. And what if this wasn't sorted? So say our input was like this, where beginning is not less than equal to middle. This isn't sorted. So now we would want to search in this half and say our target was three again. So what I'm going to do is if these aren't sorted, that means this half is sorted. And I'm going to check within these bounds if my target is there. So if nums of middle is less than equal to target, which is less than equal to nums of end that means we know target has to be within these bounds over here and we would move our beginning to be after middle so middle plus one and if that was not the case over here we see that target does not lie within these bounds we would have to search somewhere in the left so our end is going to equal middle minus one so say we did go into this, right? And let's say our target was four, right? So the first check we make is checking if middle equals target. It doesn't. And now we're going to check if our beginning is less than our middle. It's not. So this is not the sorted half, but this is. So we're in this else. And then we check if target lies within these bounds, negative one and two, it doesn't. So now we've moved end over here and we're going to be going back into this while loop and performing the same searches over here. So we would check our midpoint, which is five over here. And then we see that this side is sorted. So we would check within here for the bounds. Target lies in these bounds for is less than equal to target, which is less than equal to mid. So we would condense our search further and we would have end over here because we'd move it right before middle. And finally, we would return for it. So once we get out of this while loop, we want to return. But if we never find it, then we want to return negative one. So we would return negative one if the nums of end does not equal target, else we would return the end index. And it could be beginning too, because both would be pointing at the same thing. So let's go ahead and run this code. Invalid syntax. I forgot an if over here. So return negative one if this is true, else we would return end. Okay, so we are accepted and now we can go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted as well. And again, we used a binary search. So this was a log of n runtime complexity. And as for space, we only keep track of our two pointers beginning and end. So that's constant O of one. Now, before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example, just so we understand how everything's working line by line. Okay, so I'm going to be using example one over here. So our target is zero and this is our input array. So super quickly running through this beginning and end are initialized. So this is zero and six over here and here. While beginning is less than end, which is true, we find our middle. So the middle is going to be index three. So that's over here, zero, one, two, three, at seven. And now we make a check. If this is equal to target, seven is not equal to target, so we can't return. Now we check if this first half is sorted. Nums of beginning is less than equal to nums of mid. So now we search in here. Does our target lie within these bounds? Nums of beginning is four, which is not less than equal to target. So immediately we don't go into this if. So now we're going to search in this half and we're moving beginning to be after our midpoint. So it is now four looking something like this. So we have beginning here and end here. These are the new bounds that we're going to be searching for. So we go back into this while loop beginning is still less than end. Our new middle is going to be five over here. And this does not equal our target, so we can't return. And now we check again, beginning is less than equal to mid. So now we check if target is within these bounds. And it is, right? Zero is within zero and two. So we move end to be before middle. So that means end is now going to be four. And beginning and end point at the same index over here. So now once we go back into this while loop, beginning is no longer less than the end. 
So we are out of this while loop and we would return over here. So we make a check over here. Nums of end does equal target. So we return end and end is at four, which is exactly what we expected to output. So we just did a search in a rotated sorted array. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you like this, hit a like, drop a comment and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.